Hello everyone, it's Tuesday today, which means it's time for another video. And today it's going to be a modding tutorial because today I will show you how you can quickly create a backpack for Fallout 4. I already made two videos on it, but they are both 19 minutes long and one backpack didn't even end up working. So that's why today I will show you how you can create your own backpack. So let's roll the intro and get started. <laughs> So for today's list of ingredients, of course like always you're gonna need Fallout 4 on PC and the creation kit. But today we're also gonna need Bethesda Archive Extractor, Nif Scope and Outfit Studio. And we are gonna start with the creation kit because we're just gonna take a look on what items we can use for our new backpack. And I'm going to make a really simple one. All I'm gonna do is take a metal canister and strap it to my back. Now if we go to the base object of this metal canister, or actually it's an aluminium canister, but potato potato, we can see what mesh it uses. And you can identify these meshes by looking at the name. If they end with dot nif, it's a mesh. Now let's open up the Bethesda Archive Extractor and select the Fallout 4 Meshes BA2 files, which you can find in the data folder. There's two of them, so select them both just in case and then press open. Now that the BA2 files are loaded in, we can search for that mesh that we wanted to use. So in this case, just search for chemistry set CAN01. Look for the object that ends with .nif and extract it to a new folder. I suggest you make a new folder on your desktop for example, name it to whatever you want and then inside that folder you create another folder and name it borrowed items for example. And then everything that we end up extracting will go into this borrowed items folder. Once all of your meshes are inside the borrowed items folder, Folder, we are going to start up Nifscope. Once it's opened, drag the mesh in there because we are going to do some potential cleaning. All we want the mesh to have is the tri shape and the shader. The rest we can delete by right clicking, block, and then remove branch. Once that is done, we go back to the Bethesda Archive Extractor itself because now we will search for a body. No, not a dead body, but a male body. If you want to make a proper backpack, you will extract both the male and the female body, but if you're a lazy fuck like me, you just extract one of them. Just like we did with the other mesh, we will extract this to our borrowed items folder. Once it's in there, open up Outfit Studio, and then drag the body mesh into it. Then you drag in your cleaned up backpack piece as well, and start moving and turning and scaling it into place where you want the backpack to be, which I guess would be at the back. Once that's done, click on the body mesh, make sure nothing else is selected, right click on the name of the mesh, and select set reference. If you did this correctly, the name will turn green. Right now, we are in the meshes section of Outfit Studio, but for our next step, we will go to the bone section which we can find right there. Now we have to find the correct bone for our backpack. And it's really simple. If we click any of the bones, we will see that a specific part of the body mesh will change color. For example, blue. Now what we have to do is find the bone that is the closest to our backpack. Which in our case is the chest rear skin. Because the blue of this bone is literally touching the backpack which makes this the perfect bone. Now a little something you should know, as you can see the color is not only blue. The more in we go, the redder it becomes. And the redder it is, the less it will jiggle around. Okay, so go back to the meshes tab and select the backpack piece and not the body mesh. And if you have one or more backpack pieces, then select those as well. Just select all of the backpack, basically. Once it or they are selected, go back to the bones tab and click on chest rear skin. Then go to shape and click on copy selected weights. Crack these numbers up a bit and press OK. Now a small part of the backpack has changed color, but we have to make sure that all of the backpack is colored red, because red means no mesh breaking jiggles. Now it automatically gives you this little red circle, which you can use to paint the mesh, if you will, and that's why it's called a brush. But I think it's quite a small brush, so if you press S and scroll up, the brush becomes bigger. Hooray! Now click on this little arrow and set the strength all the way to the max. And then, well, you just start painting all of your backpack pieces until they are all the way red. Once it's all the way red, go back to meshes, click on the new outfit one, and then go to file, export, to NIF, and put it inside your mod folder that you made. Not inside borrowed items, because this one you made yourself. Congratulations! Open up Nifscope again and drag in the backpack you just made. Now in the case that something is fucked, you can move them back into place using the transform option inside bone list, inside bone data, 
inside skin instance inside tri shape data. And if that didn't make sense, watch the live stream I did. Link is in the description. Start it at this timestamp, and you'll see exactly what to do. Because well, it's a bit difficult to explain. But right now everything seems fine, so let's finalize this backpack. The first thing you have to do is go to the Fallout 4 data folder, and inside the meshes folder, you create a new folder. Name it after your mod and then drag in that final backpack mesh that we just made. With that done we can jump back into the creation kit and here you have to create both a new armor and armor add-on for this backpack to work. Give them some fitting IDs, I suggest you use your name as well so you just can search up your name in the future. And inside the armor add-on make sure that the race is set to human race and that the additional races is set to ghoul race. Make sure it is set as a FX because we don't want any other armor armors to disappear when we equip this backpack and make sure that the male and female biped model is set to the path of our new backpack. And when that's done, press OK. Inside the armor we change the name to whatever we want, I'll set the value to something valuable, I'll set the enchanting to clothing strength 2, this way your carry weight will be slightly increased, I'll set the biped object to FX as well just as we did in the armor add-on, and I'll make sure that the dog meet no visuals on retrieve keyword is present. And inside the world model I will put the mesh which they use for a ammo bag. So inside the filter box search for ammo bag, copy the file path for the mesh and paste it back at the armor. So now the backpack can actually be found in game, it will have the shape of a small little ammo bag, but hey, there are also other mods that do this, and I'm fine with that. And then finally inside the armor index I will put the armor add-on that we just made, and make sure you set the race to human, otherwise it don't work. Place the armor somewhere in the world where you can find it, and we are done. Save the mod, enable it in Vortex, and start up the game. Pick up the backpack from where you placed it, and there you go. You now have a functioning backpack. I hope you enjoyed this modding tutorial, if you did make sure to give it a like, subscribe for more and a special thank you to my awesome patron Whippets Donald. Do you also want to help out the channel, then consider becoming a patron. There are a bunch of different tiers, so I'm sure there's one that is perfect for you. Thank you for watching, my name is Tuesday and I will see you next time.